All right, Ben Cooper here. I'm just gonna go through a couple of things now. I've just done a long run, just from about 45K now. I think I've got about two or three Ks to go back to the car. So done, long day, training, practice. Now I've got race, race coming up, fingers crossed, hopefully. It is what it is, guys. You just gotta keep training and I, if the race doesn't go ahead and gets postponed, brilliant. You get an extra block to build on strength and work on those little things that you uh, weren't able to, we're all busy, we may have been short, taking a couple of shortcuts as far as not getting the right volume in or intensity in in some sessions. So it gives you another good build. So use it as a positive, guys. But I'll just quickly go through some of the equipment and get an idea of, you need to use what you're gonna be doing in race day. Now I've got the S-Lab 8 set. Um, I love this pack and I recommend this pack for anyone. Um, I also have the 12 and um, that works really well. I use that more so for training but I find for races this um, gets everything in, it's really tight, so it may feel a little bit loose, but once you've actually got it wrapped around you, it, everything holds in, especially if you've got all your mandatory gear at the back. Um, I've got the S-Lab poles. Um, they're the carbon poles. I didn't use them today, but I wanted to just get used to having them on my back. Um, but again, good practice. I will train with them next week. But again, just getting used to them on the pack. Um, I pulled them in and out a couple of times just to get used to doing that on the run. But I find these the best that I've used. Um, I have used the Black Diamond, but I just find them clipping in and out a lot easier and I find that they are, they just feel a little bit lighter. I know the grips, they just feel better, better for me. But that's my opinion. But um, yeah, so I am talking a little bit about s -Lab because I do love s -Lab and I just, they do, they do their gear good and it's quality. Um, I've got, uh, if you can see the S-Lab Sense, uh, the, the Sense 7s, I've got the soft ground, so the, the, the lugs are a little bit bigger on them. They've just released the 8s, which I haven't got yet, but um, I use these for my racing shoes. Um, they're lighter. If you uh, want a little bit more support, I would recommend the, the Ultras. Um, they've just released the Ultra 2, the S-Lab. They're, they're brilliant. I, I wore them yesterday in my long run, um, but um, I use these today because I wanted to practice the gear that I'll be wearing. Now, these are my older pair. I do have a brand new pair that I've only worn once. Um, I normally like the Labent socks as well, but I'm using uh, the Fusion at the moment. Um, I've just try been trying out their gear for the last um, six to eight weeks, and I'm loving it. It's um, I've had issues finding. I like to run in tights, and I've had issues finding a good pair of tights. So I don't like two XU. I've tried them. Um, I've got, I did like skins, but obviously you can't get them anymore. And um, I just find a few of the others they stretch too much and they don't they they move around. But I'm I've got the Fusion ones. So I just find they fit, they don't move. Like when they're in, when they're on, they're on and they don't move. And normally I'm like sort of pulling them out of my hamstrings and, but they are, you need to fit them on properly. So you need to put them on like a wetsuit. So you slide them up your leg, then you pull them up. You gotta really get them up into your, into your crutch, into your groin. But I find once they're on, in place, they don't move, they don't shift and they absorb everything as well. So um, you don't, you, they don't feel heavy. They're really light. They, this is the, um, the SLI version so that that is the top of the range but really good and i've also been wearing the top and I, I mean you can't really tell but it absorbs all the sweat it doesn't feel heavy it's really light fits doesn't move um it yeah it's a really good fit i do like the um the s lab singlets as well i do normally wear those but i've been using this for the last um for the last couple of weeks and i'm really enjoying that they do have a singlet and uh another version but it's just not the not the top tier this is the top tier fusion shirt um but again fits really good works in with the pack holds well um got the soft last pretty standard like the the salomon soft last is the 500 mils um i'm using tailwind so i'm going to be racing in tailwind so i practice in tailwind love the product to find don't have any gut issues it's you just slowly sip on it. it gives you that little bit of energy when you need it so i normally de depending on i break it down in the race like i might have um, a big sip after 4k then then 6k then 8k I might do it every 2k um today i didn't really take much hydration in until about 15k mark and then i started having little sips every couple of k but maybe when i've got like the last 10k it's good mental just to use when your watch goes off for a k you just have a sip k sip 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 so you can set little markers on your watch but that's how i just get it's towing is works really well you only you, they say you only need that fuel, which generally I only really use it, especially for training. 
um, but in racing, yeah, definitely. Um, but you need to have it in small sips because you're going to get thirsty and your body will tell you when to drink. So drink to thirst. Don't um, get caught up on, oh, I must drink. Oh, I'm a heavy sweater. I must drink three litres. When you, This is why you train. You get used to knowing what you need. Now, I've trained my body um, to fuel in that way as well. So uh, small sips. Um, generally, yeah, I would go through, um, this morning I've been through about a litre and a half of, um, of fluid. I've been out for four hours and a bit. It'll be four hours and a half by the time I finish. Um, but yeah, that's, um, generally I could have more and I should have more really, but I, today was just a long, steady run. I did 30k yesterday, so today was 45k, just, just getting lots of hills in and just grinding it out. So I didn't really need, I did have a spring, um, Oh, sorry, a Unived um, gel as well, just to try, try it out. I've been using that product every now and then as well, just as a, a gel option. And yeah, that worked really well. Um, obviously, you got the... What I find for ultra runners is the Sunto. I find for running, it's really effective. And um, it just gives you a lot more data. Then um, the Garmin's are really good as well. I just, um, I've been using Sunto for a while now, so I just like that. But Garmin or Sunto, but the Garmin 9 Burrow is really good. The new Garmin 7, uh, sorry, the new Sunto Burrow 9, uh, 9 is good. The, the Sunto 7 looks really good. So that could be an investment I might make later in the track, but at the moment I don't need one. Good old dusty caps, light. You can, you can flip it up if you need, need to. So I love this cap. You can get them through pure running or um, dusty trail, or you can get it from Pace Athletic as well in Sydney. Um, but yeah, you can get it online and you get it within two, three days. Um, the team's really good there. And yeah, if you need any nutrition or anything like that, um, you obviously got pure performance in, in town if you're in Newcastle, if you're in Sydney. Um, yeah, you got um, pure running, Pace. Uh, lot, they all do it online now as well. But um, if you have any questions, um, feel free to reach out. And, and that's, um, yeah, that's basically what I wear. Oh, and buff, run lab buff that come, you can use it in the cold cover your head beanie sweat um yeah really good it's excellent but yeah thank you very much guys appreciate it